Welcome back, and as I promised, Don Shula is here. Congratulations, Coach. A big win for you yesterday. You must, well, you must have been standing on the sidelines thinking back to last year's opener against Cleveland. Very similar well, circumstances. It was, and we needed the, uh, the drive at the end of the ball game, and there's nobody better to lead a drive than Dan Marino. And uh... He did it all for you yesterday in the fourth quarter. I had eight passes in a row, eight of nine. And he was he was sharp in that fourth quarter. What was the difference then, than, than, than the middle of the game, the beginning of the ball game for you? Well, we just uh, struggled some. We had some problems with uh, our protection. We had a pretty good running game going, but we just couldn't cash in. And instead of making a big play, we made the big mistake. And you can't do that. The, the Colts were a fired up team playing in front of their home fans, and crowd noise was a real factor for us also. But um, uh, when we had to have it at the end, we got it. And uh, that drive was just a thing of beauty. Uh, it was uh, uh, 13 plays, and uh, Dan was 8 out of 9 on the drive. We had three running plays, if you can believe that, three important running plays that uh, really helped us in that situation. On third down and, and one, Kirby got it for us. And then uh, Byers had a couple of good runs that uh, really moved it down. First and goal on the six-yard line, we picked up five yards and got it down to the one-yard line. And then we went with uh, the no huddle play, didn't get anything, and then it came time <laughs> to uh, uh, make the decision as to what to do on that uh, last play of the ball game, the touchdown play, and, and it was just executed perfectly. And what a way it uh, came about, too. A nice play by everybody involved. In fact, that touchdown between Dan Marino and Greg Beatty is the subject for tonight's Sports Authority Chalk Talk. Uh, Coach, what was the decision here for you? Well, the decision right here was that uh, uh, we wanted to give Dan the option of running uh, or throwing the football. And if we had to run with it or if we threw it and we didn't get into the end zone, then we had to rush our field goal team because we're out of timeouts. We're lined up in our short yardage formation with uh, three tight ends in the ball game. And uh, so Dan comes out there and, and the Higgs, number 21, goes in there and does a great job of blocking and knocking a guy down. We've got uh, Keith Jackson coming across the back of the end zone. We've got Greg Beatty releasing and you can see Greg coming. You'll see Higgs block, which completely uh, knocks the defensive man down. It puts Dan into a situation now where he can threaten the line of scrimmage, but he sees the receiver so open that he, he takes the sure thing. And the sure thing was the touchdown. Here's the end zone shot of it, uh, Jim, and, and you can see how the, the play action holds him. We're pulling the tackle. We got a guard pulling to make it look like the running play with Keith Byers carrying. So that holds the linebackers in the middle, and you can see Beatty now getting his release. Higgs's block is the key block on the play and he does a great job of knocking him down and you see Beatty coming so wide open in the end zone. I didn't realize Danny was that wide open at the time. And it was and, a uh, great adjustment by Greg Beatty as well, wasn't it? Right, a tremendous adjustment and uh, we had Keith Jackson coming across the back of the end zone and uh, and uh, in case we didn't have Beatty, we could always go to Keith Jackson. Right. Well, it was a great call. Coach has brought a couple of very special guests with him tonight, Coach. Well, our quarterback that led that uh, great uh, fourth quarter drive, Danny Marino. Danny, welcome. Thank you. And also down the end, you've got another guy who led and the we defense have pretty Lewis well. Oliver, who is uh, one of our defensive captains this year and uh, just one of the outstanding. Lou, all right, Lou. How Lou, doing, welcome. Coach? I tell you, Dan, yesterday when we talked after the game and, and on Sports Jam Live as well, at, you were sparking yesterday in the fourth quarter, those final five minutes. Is, that's the 25th time you've done this. Is there a special feel for you on the sideline the last few minutes of a game when you're behind? Well, I think when you're in that situation, I mean, you know that you have the confidence that you can, you know, if, if you have to have a drive to win it, you can do it because you've done it before and you've done it in the past. And a lot of the people in our huddle has been in that situation last year, and they knew that we could do it. And it really wasn't like, uh, you know, you had to score in a minute or two minutes. We had five minutes so we could take our time and have a good drive. Uh, the thing is, I think it was great for us to build our confidence with the new guys, Keith Byers and, and Irving Fryer and Mark Ingram, to know that we could come back like that and win. Because if we're ever in that situation again, you know, they know that we've already done it once. Absolutely right. Coach, your defense played well, led by the guy down the end. Well, Lewis, uh, in the free safety position, nobody covers more ground than Lewis, and nobody hits any harder than Lewis Oliver. And he knows what other teams are trying to do. So he's the ideal guy to direct traffic back there. And Lewis, that cold offense spread us out a little bit. Yeah, they kind of spread us out. Uh, they came out in their, in their 45 offense, which uh, pretty much spread our defense out. We had to take, take one of our linebackers out. But uh, we pretty much contained them 
throughout the ball game. Without the one touchdown, we would have held them to uh, two field goals. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look.